Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here with the session on Google registration form creation if you are going to conduct any of the webinars or events. So this will help you to grab the audience to generate uh, valuable leads. Well, let's get started with this. So first thing, uh, here I'm going to conduct this webinar, live webinar on SolidWorks. So for that, I need I want to create the registration form. So this is the webinar which I had already uh, posted. So for that, you just need to create a new tab from this icon. You have this forms from Google account. Here you can directly access the already free created default templates to create the event. Google registration form. So if I just browse this event registration, so this is the uh, default template. Okay. If you want to customize this, you can do it. You can delete the tabs and all. Okay. That is quite okay. You can just deal with this. But uh, these are the tabs where the leads gonna uh, add it. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll create a new one that is from scratch okay the new google registration form so these are things which i had already uh, created for reference to add it and show wasting time to just type everything so you can just have it on board now i'll just copy these all the texts so this is the webinar description when i'm going to conduct and what and all the things company name what you're going to be uh, like learning from this okay what are the takeaways and all well so the first uh, tab should be of name i'll just add the name okay and uh, this is required so everyone should fill it they should not keep it blank okay stammer kind of stuff so i want to add one more uh, tab so click on this add question so here the next tab i would like to have it as email id i'll paste it okay again it's a short answer here i'll again mark it as required star mark so in this the next one that's the mobile number the contact number you can mention Like this, you can add the multiple uh, questions. So here, instead of N U M, I would like to add is just N O mobile number. Okay, that's fine. So here, the company name, star mark required. That is done. So it is short answer again. Okay. Next question after company name, you can even add the designation. and next one the last one is the location so why this location company name designation is needed if you're a lead generator uh, you'll be assigned with a specific location or region so you need to contact the uh, concern industries only related to that region so better to have the city added so you can eliminate a few leads which is away from whatever the city you're looking for the designation will help you to just uh, deal with the uh, required consent person, the manager level or zeros and all. So I'll be adding the uh, image here. You can upload it. You could see this is the preview. So now I don't want it at the bottom. I should take it on the top. So you can just hold it and drag it upwards. So you can't add it at the top. So you can just place it here only. Yep, so the title I'll simply add it as live webinar that would be preferable. I'll just copy this text. 
yep so this looks fine so if you want to add new section you can add it if you want to attach video you can do it these are all the other options okay now this looks fine so you can just go with the responses if you just want to link to google sheet you can even do that the settings these are the few settings so now i want to just send it and cross check whether it is working fine or not so we can even send to a particular person or else you can simply copy the link let me try sharing it with this person so if you want you can include this form into the mail you can send it okay so this is one more way you can simply copy this link if you want to shorten the url you can do it like this so this link you can copy tugging and just try to see whether it is going to work or not let me just check it control v and search yep so this is the form how exactly it's gonna look when someone browses this google resolution form they will see these details and here they will get these things if they submit all the responses will be feeded there i'll showcase later but in the name you could see it is option giving so i need to change it to short answer so you can cancel it the questions you can just uh, just checking whether we have other additional options here nope this i need to change to short answer instead of multiple choice i'll do the same here this is fine let us test again preview it here putting the name it is showing option one as written default so i need to clear that blank this looks fine you know mm. but too much description so let me just modify a few things again so i don't want this i'll remove that and i'll keep it blank okay this is live webinar no i need to preview it once so go back i'll remove this okay let's preview mm, yep this looks fine you know introducing the webinar details live so only shows in the name i'm getting option one feed it so remaining everything is fine so let me just make the modification there in the tab name delete this one and I'll recreate instead of wasting time okay so me
it is a short answer so i simply load the same thing short answer now i believe name should be star marked required i close them and i can preview it now this looks okay everything star mark designation company name name ips i'd like to have the title So if I had new section, it is again lengthier one. So instead of dealing with that, hmm. so let us see. I'll feed some details whether it is going to just add up all the responses into the response tab. Mail ID. Company name. Designation. Submit. Now let's go back. Yep, in the responses, it's available here. So that's fine, it's working fine. So now it shows. Later on, you can download this uh, form and just deal with the leads. Everything is fine now. So this is the Google registration form which we have generated. It looks fine. So this is the link, I'll just shorten it. I would like to cross check how it is going to look when I'm going to post it on the LinkedIn. So let me try here just paste it mm -hmm. the preview is i don't like this what we can do for this we can link the image for this uh, link isn't it so go to this one the website called any image Enter the first one any image dot io that is turn any image into the link. Would like to have this image. Oops, image is too large. Oh what to do? Mm. I have this snipping tool, let me use it. So, zoom out, snipping tool, now just snip it. Please let it work. Capture. Let us see now. Let us stop this one. Browse. Yep, it's working. Great. Snipping tool is very powerful, guys. Try to use it properly. Before I had used, and so I wasted lots of time to just convert the images to uh, like short form by using compress image or convert image to 16 is to 9 and all. Waste. 
the sniffing tool is like got through of each and every website I believe okay so the name it is registration form URL I'll copy this yep so if I click on finish and you can even see the preview at the bottom I need the LinkedIn form. you can see this is how it gonna look like registration form can even adjust zoom in zoom out mm, this is fine okay so if i click on finish it is showing that i need to include the description yep so description tab we need to fill something there what i can do i'll copy the webinar headline go to this and simply copy this one control c and control v finish linkedin we can directly post it from this icon itself you can see this is how it's gonna look so it is loaded if you click on the share in post you can see the registration form here post it or else i can copy this link and try to paste it here on this Control V. Yep, so cannot display the preview. This happens actually. I tried multiple times. If you are using the uh, any image now, if you simply copy the link from there and try to paste it on the uh, LinkedIn you'll get this error so what you can do is the best way to avoid this is uh, simply uh, share from here only okay post it in your LinkedIn share and post and if you post it now I simply just post it just to test it once so I want the link to be copied and once I copy this link and if you want to post it somewhere else it should give me the preview as well no so you can copy this link just post it once uh, view this post and you could see this is how it is going to look like so you can click on this or you can copy this link address and let me just uh, post it uh, with another linkedin account so control v yep this works okay if you're facing issues with that copying the link and pasting you just post it and copy the link yep so i hope you got to know how to create the google registration form and once you create it appropriately how to post it on the linkedin to generate the leads if you have any doubts and concern you can directly contact me well, that's all about this session. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye, everybody.